on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. I'm trying to whatever with the dad or whatever. The dad's not in the life. He don't care about the child. Mm -hmm. Or they finding out that it's Blake Griffin or Kevin Durant. Which one is more detrimental to that child? Probably her being a porn star. Well, and we're going on that podcast. So she but did. That's, exactly. that's not the, but that's not the question, right? We're not arguing whether or not she a piece of shit. <laughs> what? I mean, let's be real. That's not what we, that's understood. Right? Nobody is arguing that. Like, nobody is debating on her behalf as to whether or not she's the sanctity or the, or the ideal woman. That's mm -hmm. not what we're talking about. We're talking about the whole idea of the fact that she ain't said nothing when we know that the majority of the women is either going to clout chase to get more visibility that come along with saying that, yo, this is the, the father, of the, you know what I'm saying? The father of the kid and the fact that, or not the fact, but the idea that she ain't like she getting no bag for it either. I'm calling cap because <laughs> I think that the reason why she don't want to re reveal the identity is because it probably was a gang bang and she don't know the identity. <laughs> That what I was thinking. <laughs> like that's a possibility, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like an NBA player, and you don't want no money. Mm -hmm. She don't know. That's what I gotta say. Look, this 2022, we not in Wakanda, we in reality. <laughs> but if she didn't know, why wouldn't she just go to court, do DNA testing and all that? I'm not saying she should, but that's so easy to do now. Like, and that would put him on blast, you know, eventually. She already is. I mean, is that saving her any type of face? Yeah, but look, she, just think about the odds of it. Like, come on now. This is a modern woman, right? And we can tell she's modern because she says she don't care, but you went on somebody's podcast. It's too early. But that's okay. My gym workout was phenomenal. Before I went home, I decided to stop over at my mother's house. I haven't seen my mother in two months. I know she's going to be very surprised to see me. I can't wait. What the? I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The first thing I noticed was this person's skin. What is going on? Uncomplicated, untreated skin? Who is this guy? I had to take a step back. But then I realized it was my brother. But look at his skin. Have you guys ever seen anything like that? I had to take a closer look and figure out what was going on. Best believe I crept up on him. Peep this. I'm still looking at his skin trying to figure out how did we get here? I could do nothing but shake my head. He could definitely use my help. I had to get to the bottom of this. He definitely needed some game to buy his skin. I'm just staring at it like looking at it. Come on, bro. I knew what to do. I had to reach in my bag and get that tease handling. Uncomplicated skincare for men. Bro, this is why I'm excited to have Tiege Handley as the sponsor of today's video. They have helped me start and maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process uncomplicated. Honestly, it's the best skincare system for guys like you and me. I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and the grime on your skin. A two times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of the dead skin cells. An AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun. And a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. My brother was so excited. My favorite part about Teach Hanley is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. They really make the process of achieving and maintaining an amazing skin easy. Shout out to Tej Hanley. And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and not only will you get Tej Hanley for the best possible price, but they'll also give you a free gift with your first box. Click that link and get started today for just $30. Feel the Tej. Let the Tej force be with you. So you do care. She just don't know. And then the thing is the, the the person who she probably want the daddy to be is the NBA player. The guy who is probably is, is probably Jay Prince. So <laughs> I was like, Oh, so you're saying like, it's not even an NBA player. 
Probably. Come on. I mean, now, let's be honest, Carmen. If you put, if you had an NBA player, baby, right? He he's stonewalling you, right? He telling you blase, blase, whatever. I don't care how pro man you can be. You got to be pro yourself first, and you got to be pro your kid. Yeah, I don't know, though. I mean, I always do tend to question, like, I just feel like most men naturally aren't that way as far as abandoning their children. So generally, I do wonder what the actual dynamic is like for her to present it as such. Like, mm. okay. so how do we go from saying she's a soldier to now she, now she the worst? I'm just trying to make sure we all on the same page. I mean, I didn't say she's the worst. I'm just saying, like, uh, I mean, I think that everybody knows women often change the way we present, especially well, not you specifically, but just in general. Like, how did we go from saying that she a soldier to if she if she does know who it is, if we're assuming that she does know and she's because I've seen women back in the day that was like, yo, I got pregnant by this dude, I, but I don't want him in the child's life because of whatever reason and they don't want no money from I've seen chicks do that before but there's still the possibility that she's doing that because she doesn't know who the kid's father is because mm -hmm. I'm looking at it like a little suspect because like you know like Logic said she's acting like she doesn't care but she went on a podcast to talk about it well we only I seen the clip but then the other side of the conversation is What if she does know? Yeah, I, I mean, does, he, he, he can, I mean be. Part, part of it, part of part of it is, what if she just she feels as though she's protecting a child? But then but, it is also like why is she going in public saying that she's putting the the kid on Front Street. So I I agree. I think she knows. I don't really think she doesn't know, but it's weird to me like you're saying that she would go out on front street but say she wants to protect him it's a weird contradiction and well, she probably, she she probably knows well I, what i was gonna say is that she probably knows and she probably supposed to keep her mouth closed but still came out and still wanted to say some shit. i was gonna say too i think she's sort of trying to draw him out is but i mean on the, on the flip side of it on his end of it i agree with trill like he ain't shit if he don't want to be in his kid's life or whatever, but you know, again, we gotta like we gotta question why she's going about that. Like, is it is it some moral position or is it, is not the paperwork? Mm -hmm. But we no, can. You all know what I think it is, bro. I think she's holding out hope yes, that. Oh, go that, ahead, Trey. I'm sorry, know, bro. Not, just, just real quick. Now that I'm thinking about it a bit more, I think she's holding out hope that he gonna want to be with her eventually. That's why I say mm. I think she's trying That's to. That's the only thing out. that I can see. I don't. I don't want to come out and burn the bridge down, but I'll come out and say, "Hey, his dad is in the NBA," just to kind of like, like kind of put that pressure on him to kind of, I guess, step up and try to be with us. I'm holding out hope that he may do it, but I don't. I don't see no other reason for doing that because you're not protecting the child. As a matter of fact, now that they know that you, his mama, and you done came out here, and you a porn star. That child about to, have to go through hell in school. So you trying to protect him? That's and trill. And it's on trill. She even had the child on the podcast. <laughs> so look, I, that's why. Look, I, like, I mean, if you don't know who the if you don't know who the father is, I don't. No, I'm saying it's uh, you try to harbor her now because look, I'm nothing. I'm looking at it from. I'm looking at it entirely, just based off of what we know, right? Like. We have to make the assumption that she know who the who the kid father is, right? We, we assume it. We're not saying that we know, not for sure, like, but we assuming that we know who the father is, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, at what point do we also? Because I was rich real when he, you know, what I'm saying in the in the very first statement. At what point do we also hold accountable to a dude that is out here busting but, down? But this Oh, this is what we do though, Anton. We can I only go by the information that's provided. The information provided is she stepped on herself in her whole initial statement. She's going on a podcast first, saying that she's a, a, a ex porn star. I want to know she was ex porn star. I could probably walk now if I see. I'm like, look at that porn star with a baby. 
So, mm-hmm. so her whole message, she's she's stepping on her own tongue by saying she's trying to protect the child. If you want to be honest, no, 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 no. She, she, I don't, I don't know if she said well, she was, okay, which one is more detrimental mm-hmm. to a child. Your mom being a porn star that go on a podcast saying that she's not trying to whatever with the dad or whatever the dad's not in her life, he don't care about the child, mm-hmm. or they finding out that it's Blake Griffin or Kevin Durant. Which one is more detrimental to that child? Probably her being a porn star. Well, and we're going on that podcast. So she but did. That's, exactly. that's not the, but that's not the question, right? We're not arguing whether or not she a piece of shit. <laughs> what? I mean, let's be real. That's not what we that's understood. Right? Nobody is arguing that. Like nobody is debating on her behalf as to whether or not she's the sanctity or the or the ideal woman. That's mm-hmm. not what we're talking about. We're talking about the whole idea of the fact that she ain't said nothing when we know that the majority of the women is either gonna clout chase to get more visibility. That come along with saying that yo, this is the, the father of the, you know what I'm saying, the father of the kid, and the fact that, or not the fact, but the idea that she ain't like she getting no bag for it either. 